Antoinette, good morning. Education Commissioner Jeffrey Riley is expected to give an update to the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education at 930 this morning. Riley is expected to address support for districts and families when it comes to testing, including the state's test and stay program. The initiative allows school districts to use testing as an alternative to requiring asymptomatic close contacts to quarantine. In his first report on COVID in the classroom, Desi reported 1,230 cases of COVID-19 in students between September 13th through September 15th. That's 0.13% of the roughly 920,000 students back in school in the Commonwealth. Some Massachusetts parents, though, are calling for remote learning options for their children who are not yet eligible to be vaccinated. They talked about their concerns yesterday during a virtual press conference. I'm not ready yet to send my kid to school completely defenseless when they have no vaccine against this dreaded virus. I don't feel comfortable sending my son in. I, I don't feel that it's safe. And while I worry about his mental health because he hasn't been in school since March of 2020, um, his physical health is the bigger concern at this moment until he's vaccinated. Threatened a little bit. Now, the event was hosted by the Massachusetts Education Justice Alliance and MA Parents for Remote Learning Options. Some of those parents say they will be at today's meeting. In Boston, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5. Meanwhile